Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Every Friday, I answer your questions about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So let's start with the first question. I have some videos shot each in different aspect ratios. Say I want the final video to be 16 by 9 with black bars above and below for the cinematic effect. I need to transform each video one by one. Even if I do that, I can't be sure if the black bar's height is the same for all the videos. How can I have the same aspect ratio for all the videos at the same time? So I made a video already here on my channel. It's this one. Here, black bars tutorial how to add cinematic black bars in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and in this video I give two methods how you can create this the first method is that you actually have a 16 by 9 like you wrote in your question and you bring in the black bars by cropping into the frame so in your case if you have all different different kinds of material I would go about this differently I would actually use the second method from that video the second method which is actually the more accurate method to begin with is that you don't use any crop ins for the black bars that you actually render out a video in a different aspect ratio so what do I mean by that if you come in here to DaVinci Resolve and you create a new timeline right click in your media pool and then say here create new timeline I can now say don't use my project settings I can come in here format and change the aspect ratio of my video to the aspect ratio that I want so that my video is always the aspect ratio that you desire for your cinematic look so in this video with the black bars I think I even give a cheat sheet with all the different aspect ratios that you can use even if you want to recreate Hollywood movies and stuff like that right and then the second thing is if you come in here to the project settings under image scaling here input scaling you have four different types of options if you put footage into your timeline the one that I use is for example scale entire image to fit so I want always that the, the image is fitting so in your case for example I guess you have to choose scale full frame with crop because you have probably videos that are maybe like this and they have larger black bars and then other aspect ratios and you'd want that all of them scale to your aspect ratio timeline so if you use something like this you don't even have to touch all the videos one by one because they will all be scaled to that one timeline okay next question hello when I move the DRFX files to the fusion templates folder the files don't show up as an option when I restart DaVinci any ideas running the newest DaVinci app that's kind of interesting because I run the newest DaVinci app as well and if you really put it in I will show you this exactly where you have to put it in you go to files you come in here to DaVinci Resolve and then you come to fusion and you have to make sure it comes in here to template and now you see I have all of those different DRFX files even the one from Motion VFX and Motion VFX has its own app M installer and what it does is basically exactly the same if you download any of the packs and you install it what the app here is doing is creating a DFX file in this one location and after you restart DaVinci Resolve you will actually have those like let's say I come here in the cut page here on the transitions I see all of my transitions if you come to the edit page and you go to effects you will have now here like for example with the seamless transition pack you have a folder called Phoenix if you installed the Phoenix transition pack yeah try to restart try to check if you really have a proper location and the third point could be I don't know what kind of DRFX file you're using if it's ours it should work maybe you're using some third party that you want to try out maybe that DRFX file isn't working or it's using an effect that doesn't work on the iPad so next question I use an 11 inch m2 chip with 256 gigabyte version iPad when I use multiple layer videos on timeline and a logo on the top on it iPad cannot handle smooth playback it becomes so laggy and FPS drops dramatically please help I think I have two videos that I created in the past that could be interesting for that question the first video is this one here do this to make DaVinci Resolve faster instead of rage smashing your iPad I, here in this video I go through a couple of different settings that you can do to make your iPad version faster and I think even here how to install the seamless transition pack for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad in the later part I go over transitions and how to make them more smooth on the iPad so definitely check that out even if you don't have the transition pack that works with any kind of footage because you can actually create a kind of rendered version of that video clip if your iPad can't handle it at all and then there's another thing in the past I had a couple of comments with people having the M2 iPad and they have performance problems so maybe the M2 iPad isn't perfectly optimized for yeah DaVinci Resolve at the moment so 
we have to see how the future goes. That's really cool. Is there any end to the hidden gems of Da Vinci? <laughs> That's a cool comment. So I think today is day 275. 275 days in a row where I uploaded the video every single day about Da Vinci Resolve on the iPad in German and in English. So it's more than 500 videos plus that I create. And I think the simple answer is Da Vinci is massive and we have the full Da Vinci on the iPad. Even if some of the pages are not uh, yet available, some features maybe don't work, but the majority is there hidden in the program it's there that's the reason why I can find so many little gems because even if we don't have the menu that we normally have on a desktop it's hidden here but the functions are there so if you want to do any function from the menu you just have to look up in the shortcuts for that one and give it a shortcut and then most of the time it actually works on the iPad this is the reason why I always come up with new ideas because there's so many things that you can do in DaVinci Resolve and it's a massive program it's the only thing I can tell you this is massive still there are a lot of people who don't see the iPad as a full capable uh, editing suit but since now almost a year I completely swapped my workflow to the iPad and I use DaVinci Resolve and I show you this and everything that I discover here on the channel and it works. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's the best app that you can get for filmmaking on the iPad or what do you think? So that's it for this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I hope you liked this video, you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.